Hey guys, it's Edward. So, I got a few requests from you guys uh, t to do a problem off the off leak code to demonstrate what I'm thinking. Um, I know there's a lot of channels out there that really tell you the answer and they go through the answer with you, but I don't think there are too many um, that do a coding challenge and tell you what the process is. And I thought it might be interesting for me to do this in one take, completely unscripted, um, just to show you what my raw thoughts are. Um, so I don't expect this to go that well, actually. Um, hopefully it does. Um, but I'm going to pick a problem that I've never seen before um, that I think is a good exercise, could be a good exercise in design. So that'll probably be like a tree or array problem. I'll try to avoid graphs for now, um, but I will just you know pick one that I think is uh that has a pretty high thumbs up percentage um so that way that way you guys are get exposed to a problem that is fairly reasonable so with that let's begin so this looks like a pretty good problem um it has a pretty high like to dislike ratio um some root to leaf number Given a binary tree containing digits from 0 to 9 only, each root to leaf path could represent a number. Find the total sum of all root to leaf numbers. And then here they give you a few good examples. So I'll give you, um, I'll give you a few moments for you guys to try and solve this problem. Um, hit that pause button if you need. Um, and once you come back, I'll get started. Okay, so some root to leaf no uh, numbers. Uh, given a binary tree named digits 0 to 9 only, each root path could represent a number. Oh, it's 11 18. I don't know why my clock's out of sync, but okay. Um, Alright, let's see how fast this takes me. Okay, so uh, give me an example. Root root to path 1, 2, 3 which represents 1, 2, 3. Find the sum, find the total sum of all the root to leaf numbers. Alright, so if I'm given. So I'm given 1. Oh, that's too thick. Two, three. Then I want to be able to capture this one, two, plus one, three. Okay. Um. So I have a few choices here. Um, my first thought is that it, when I'm trying to look at these cases, um, I need to know what exactly I need to send back. Um and um. My first thought is really to take each one of these children, send them back as a list, then iterate over it. So first thought is to be able to um, generate list of children, prepend value to them. Um, so for instance, in the case of one, two, one, three, I would just send back a list of two and three, and then prepend um one two one three and then keep sending that back um but this seems to be pretty um inefficient and what i mean by that is that if i have a b c d e um so at node b here i'm going to do two i'm going to create two uh numbers and then here at a i create three numbers um but then if i throw f into the mix then i have to handle three four so that's just plus one iteration for every single for the height here. So I'm gonna be doing order H work. Every single time I add a child, every single time I add a child, um, that doesn't seem terribly efficient. So let me erase that. So this doesn't work. Um, the other option I think I have is to take advantage of the fact that this is um, recursive. Um, so what I mean by this is that if I go back to A, B, C, I don't care what the um what's beyond this. It could be like D, E, or whatever. It doesn't matter. All I care about is that the return value is the sum. So then the question. So that means this can also potentially be a tree as well. Um, that this would return back the sum. So um, that means that well, I can't really sum up B and C individually, because then that just gives me, this gives me back um, the, this, the first option, because if I just t take uh, B and C separately, 
then I have to do what I just mentioned before, where I have to add A to the front of it. So this is what we're trying to avoid. This means that I have to, um, this means that I have to avoid adding in the A at the beginning. So, which means that either I do it, either I add the A to the front here, or I add the A to the front in here. So this is my, so I can't do this just because of what I set up here. So the only other option is to do it inside the tree, inside the recursion. So I can either do the, so in order to get a one, two, I need to take this value and multiply it by 10. So in a general sense, I have to be able to take a times 10 plus B. The only question now is, do I want to do a times 10 before, or do I want to do it inside? I think, so, so I need, let me just put this back. So I can do it before recursion. So a times 10, pass that on to B, pass that on to the function uh, with B and then whatever value this is, or I can do a, and then in, once inside B, then I can do times 10. So, um, I think I'm going to favor this one only because it's it historically, um, I like to sanitize my inputs. I don't like doing anything too complicated with them. Um, so we're going to go with this. Uh, so now, so now what does my function generally look like? Um, that means that, um, for whatever input I have, I need to multiply it by 10. So then, um, my function will be, um, new. So I have a value here which will be prior value times 10 plus, um, plus curve value. And then my, I will do, um, return, uh, recursion of left, right, left bow. Okay. So this handles it for the case of one child, child, two child, and child. So what happens if in my most basic cases? Um, so let's do that here. So the first case I can run into is what happens if it's null? What value do I want to return back if a node is null? I want to be able to return back zero because this represents nothing. Um, even if I pass in a prior value, value, um, the node by itself, even a uh, node, like, let's say I pass in a hundred. It doesn't matter because uh, null is null. Um, it means nothing. Now, if this value was zero, on the other hand, so let's say if this was a leaf, so I have some prior value, um, and then here, and then null, null, what value do I want to pass back? Um, so I would want to pass back uh, prior plus a prior times 10 plus a, um, more concretely, if I passed in a one, um, two, null, null here, then I would want to pass back 12. So this seems, this is in line with thinking. And the third one is that, um, is what we just been talking about. Um, it's that if I have children, a, b, c, that, and a prior value. So then prior will be um, prior times 10 plus a, so we'll call this PA for short. Um, I'm going to pass PA into B. So then what I expect back is PAB. And then same for this one. Um, this will be PAC and sum of all available children. So I think this handles the one child and two child case. So, um, yeah, I think I, I think I have my general algorithm here. Um, so let's go ahead and I think code that up. I think I've covered I think I've covered every single case I can possibly run into. Um, I'm going to commit myself to this and code it up and see what happens. And to check the time. Okay, it took me eight minutes to really plan this. Um, okay. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go back to my Procreate um, and uh, just look at it as reference and hopefully um, 
hopefully you guys um are able to follow along. I'll put it up on the screen here. Um okay, so public recur int recurse tree node root int prior value. Um so I did say my first case is going to be uh, root equals to null, and I just committed myself to returning zero. Um, let's see if prior value. Oh, it's no, no, sorry. It's um if root dot leaf equals to null. So if, if the root is a leaf, so then if left equals to null and root dot right equals to null, um, return back uh the return back times 10 plus a, but that's the value I'm going to be passing in anyway. So I think I can just do that here into new value equals to prior value uh, times 10 plus a. Um, so then, which would be root dot val. Um, and so, so I'm going to return back new value. So then, uh, in, let's handle my cases here. Um, return, recurse, uh, root dot left, comma, new value, let's recurse root dot right, new value, um, and then return, recurse root um, zero, because the initial value that we pass into this tree is zero anyway. Um, so let me double check this. Um, let me look for my cases. Uh, if null is zero, I'm going to annotate this with red now, um, just for the sake of sanity. Um, so let's take a look at my first case. This does, so this reflects my idea correctly. Cool. Um, if the note, if the left is null and the right is null, yep, that is a definition of a leaf. Um, then I will take my prior value times 10 plus a. That's cool. Um, where a is my current value. Um, and then here I've already proven that um, this works. Um, so then I recurse into the left node here with the prior value PA. That's fine. Um, I expect back PAB because I've already proven this back up here. And I know that I'm going to get prior times, prior times 10 plus B. Cool. Cool. Um, and I think this is good to go. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay, let's submit it. Oh, nice. All right, so that was um, how I did the problem in like, I guess, well, 13 minutes. Okay, um, I just reset up my camera um, and I, Honestly, didn't expect the problem to go that well. Um, like, I would have expected probably around 50, no, maybe not 50, like maybe 20 minutes to actually do the problem, only because um, it's been a while since I've actually done a serious amount of leak code studying. I think the last time I did leak code was in January. Yeah, yeah, um, it was in January when I last did my interviews, um, and now it's, we're in May. No, we're June. June. Yeah, whoa. Sh time flies. Um, yeah, so it's been about five months since I have actually done any um, Leco studying, so don't take this as a sign that I'm completely smart or whatever. This was mostly just me, I think, uh, being lucky and picking up a problem that was more suited to my strong suits rather than one that is, like, purely mechanical. Um... But essentially, I think a reasonable time for this would have been 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I only did, I, I don't know why I got it this fast. I, again, I think I'm just lucky. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, um, and I'll see you all in the next one.